Right, so we can even go inside this cave. So we're currently making our way inside. What is that noise? Yeah, this cave is just full of cockroaches. All up the wall. Look at it. <laughs> that is oh, stop that shit. <laughs> cockroaches crawling on me. <laughs> we're kind of hoping we uh, don't get bogged here and stuck in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. I gotta make I gotta make sure I keep my thongs on as well. Three, go! What's up everyone and welcome back to the beautiful Philippines. So I'm here with my man Tal. What's up? And today we are going on a road trip. So we are on the island of Leyte now. We got this beautiful sunset. How amazing is this? This is the best way to start the morning and we've rented ourselves a car to get around. So we got an amazing means of transportation and we are currently heading to a bridge called... Agas Agas Bridge. Agas Agas Bridge. And we got a full tank of fuel, we got a full day, we got car, we got freedom. So let's go explore Leyte. Yo. Okay, so after around a two hour drive, we have made it to Agus Agus Bridge, but we can't see it. <laughs> it is extremely cloudy. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna stick around here for a little bit. Hopefully it clears up. But yeah, the visibility right now is horrible. So this is the tallest bridge in the Philippines. I don't know exactly how tall it is, but I'll put it right here. Um, yeah, this really sucks, so <laughs> we can't even see half the bridge. Look at this, look at this. We barely even see the bottom either. Damn. But we'll stick around for a while, we'll see if it clears up. So sadly, it didn't really end up clearing up too much, so that's a shame. <laughs> Come out all this way, but got a little bit of footage of it. So we still have plenty of time throughout the day. It's only 8 a.m., so let's get on to the next road trip adventure. Okay, so we have just been looking for things to do like on the along the road. Um, that's like the best thing about having a car. You just got so much freedom. You can pick where you go. You can pick to do what you want. And Tal and I have found this place. So. We are at the Hindang Nature Park. So apparently they got monkeys here, it's very cheap. The entrance is only 20 pesos, another 15 pesos to park up our car. And we even heard they got zip lines. So there's an opportunity, we might get zip lines. So let's jump right in. Okay, so we have our first sighting of the monkeys. It's pretty cool to see actually because there's I don't really have monkeys in the Philippines. And this is the very first time I've seen monkeys throughout the Philippines. Oh, there he is. Not only do we have monkeys in this area, but there is also caves to explore. So this is a huge cave. Right. 
I'm in. Look at this. Wow. Oh my god. That's so amazing. We can even go inside this cave. So we're currently making our way inside. What is that noise? Is that bat? Whoa! Can you hear that noise right now? That is like thousands of bats. Oh my god! This is crazy. I don't know how good the quality will be just because it's extremely dark. But this big opening right here is a giant cave filled with bats. Yeah, this cave is just full of cockroaches. Oh, all up the wall. Oh, the on my feet. Look oh. at it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this right here is probably a nightmare for a lot of people. Look at that, all cockroaches. Oh throughout this whole entire cave. There's probably cockroaches crawling <laughs> all over our feet. This Ew. is the coolest Who is freaked out right now? Look at it. Ah, yuck. It's so, so disgusting. <laughs> Alright, so we're going deeper into the cave now. I'm just like trying to... Oh, oh yeah, that's gross! Oh. <laughs> no, this... oh, stop that shit. <laughs> Cockroach is crawling on me! <laughs> Yuck! I can't do it. Alright, we got about a meter and that's it. <laughs> Okay, and here we have our second key. It seems like the tour guide like has names for all the monkeys and they're actually under his command. <laughs> He's just calling out their names and they're slowly coming by one by one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got one here. Got one coming down here. We got another one coming too. Oh, it's okay. So we're just trekking through the bush now, just surrounded by monkeys. There's monkeys like running around. He's got a baby. Oh, every oh it does too. Oh, this little monkey up here's got a baby. So apparently there's up to yeah. around 50 monkeys in this area. Look at them all. <laughs> We're all just coming by. Whoa, she slapped the banana at me. Okay, so we've hiked away all the way up to the top. And there's two ways to get down. One, you could walk back down, or two, you could zip line back down, and that's the way we're gonna go. Look at that, it's so big. So this is around 600 meters long, and it only costs 200 pesos, so very cheap. Well, let's do it. Bro. <laughs> the other side. Here we go. I also got to take my bag with me, so make sure I strap that in there. Yeah. <laughs> what about? I got to make. I got to make sure I keep my phones on as well. Three, go. <laughs> Made alive. That's good. Okay. 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 That was hands down the coolest zip line experience I have ever had. <laughs>
but that was just the best view. You had the whole entire ocean view. And now it is Tal's time, so I'm going to record him coming down. <laughs> Alright, here comes Tal. He's zooming down. Look how long it is. It is so big. Here he comes. It comes in really quick too. <laughs> I can hear him scream the whole way. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Coming in hot. <laughs> oh man, guys, if you're around this area, this is a must do experience. It's so much fun and extremely cheap. Okay, so to get back to my car, we gotta get a ride back. So let's go. Expect to be going on a zip line today. Got attacked by monkeys. We went into an epic cave and then zip lined out. That was incredible. Who knew that this would be a hidden secret? Okay, as much fun as that was, we still have plenty more to do today. We've got a lot of time on our hands. So let's get on to the next mysterious adventure. <laughs> Yeah, so we've come not too far up the road from where we were previously at. Uh, you can do boat tours around this area. So they have like several islands you can go to. Tala, I really wanted to do a boat tour, but it just seems like um, we're not able to do it at the moment. And we have to, like for it to be cheap, it would be 300 a person. You can have up to 10 passengers. But if you don't have 10 passengers, then you pretty much just have to pay the 3,000 yourselves. But it would be nice, so if you're around this area, you can do these beautiful boat tours and go to a couple of these islands. Try to find a good beach to hang out and go for a swim. And we're just following Google Maps and it's taken us down this path. So we're already taking the car off road. So hopefully this will lead us to somewhere nice. Hey. Alright, we're still on somewhat of a road. Um, it's just getting skinny and skinnier. We're really oh crap. We're kind of hoping we uh, don't get bogged here and stuck in the mud. Which way now? Uh we keep having like split off points, so like left or right, we don't know which way to go. Here we go. This way or this way? <laughs> nah. Nah. Definitely can't fit through there. We can, we can maybe walk from here, but we can't fit through there with the car. Yep, that's your deal. Yeah. Yep, that's good. Alright, so we've parked up the car and we are now trekking through the bush to hopefully come up to a beautiful beach. So we ended up seeing this beach when we're flying the drone and we could kind of see it on the maps on Google Maps so I don't think we have far to go but the car would definitely not have been able to get through here <laughs> so, so let's see what this beautiful beach will hold whoa that is really warm But I think we're gonna have to get back to the car quick because as you can see in the distance, 
pretty dark clouds starting to roll over and we really don't want to be stuck where we are with it pouring down rain because it's just going to get too muddy and this is probably not the best spot to be stuck within a car so we better get it. Well, that is it for the adventures for today. Overall, I feel like it was a good day, even though we set out not really knowing what we're doing. Like, we had the car, having this car was a great opportunity just to explore as much as we could throughout Leyte. And yeah, it's just a good adventure. Like, you just set out on the road and find places along the way and it all works out. Like, as you saw before, <laughs> when we went to those caves, did the zip line, that was extremely fun. So if you guys are around Leyte, I highly recommend renting a car so you could explore yourself. If not, then you can get vans. Um, yeah, that's sort of the other best transportation around here. But shortly, we're gonna make our way back to the city of Ormoc. So that's where we've been staying the past few days. And this is pretty much the main area too where a lot of people would come into Leyte. So they have a ferry going from Ormoc all the way to Cebu City or several other islands if you want to get around and in another two days Tal and I we're gonna to head to Cebu because I don't know if you've heard of it they got a festival on called Cinelog so we're gonna attend Cinelog and then after that I'm gonna go on some adventures by myself so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did remember give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel be sure to check out Tal's channel as well subscribe to his Thanks for watching, follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, I'll be seeing you on another adventure through the Philippines, bye!